think it's just fantastic that more and more people are getting 3D printers in their, in their homes, which is giving them the ability to make all kinds of new objects. I think that now we are in the kind of dawn of the 3D printing era. It's like the kind of uh, dot matrix printer of the past that only existed in a few classrooms. And then a few years later, everyone had laser printers that were 100 times better. I think the same kind of thing is going to happen with 3D printing. And that's why I believe that 3D scanning is amazing. So what's 3D scanning? 3D scanning is basically like 3D photocopying. You take an object from the, three, from the real world and you turn it into a 3D image. Now there's a saying. It says that if you travel around far enough in the world, you'll meet your own doppelganger. Well, I've traveled pretty far and I'm happy to say that I've never met anyone exactly like me. But with modern technology, with 3D printing and scanning, things are getting closer. This is an um, image of my face which I printed a couple of days ago. Now, um, the technology required to scan and print objects has been around for a long time. But it's only been quite recently that it's become available to everyday folk at reasonable prices. So, I want to show you how you can do it. So what I'd like to do is to show you how you can 3D scan and 3D print uh, something like this um, rocking horse here and rescale it, etc. And I also want to show you just how easy it is to take a 3D representation of something like this and then mess around with it. I I'm going to put some glasses on this uh, rocking horse uh, just for the hell of it. Um, and of course, you can use your imagination to see that using these kind of techniques, you can do all kinds of interesting things with um, your friends. You could uh, take a 3D scan of one of your friends and then um, do a bit of manipulation with the uh, statue that you get and make them look like some kind of superhero or grotesque monster or whatever suits your fancy. Um, there's certainly a lot, of, um, a lot of room for fun here. And also, basically, I think this is a fantastic tool for art. And to be honest, I think it's a fantastic tool for technology in general. I predict that a lot of new technologies are going to come about from this idea of being able to scan stuff and modify the scan a bit and then create new objects. Just for example, um, in medicine, um, people are now using technologies to, well, MRI technologies and things, to scan bones and then find out what the shape of bones are and then use that to create appropriate bone replacements. So um, this is cool stuff. And um, with the programs I'm going to show you, Tinkercad, um, and sense scanner um, and replicator it's it's all so easy as you shall see so this is my son's rocking horse and what I want to do is make a miniature version of it so in order to achieve that I have to 3D scan it and then 3D print it so I'm going to show you how to achieve this with, in a very kind of simple way so, um, I have two pieces of hardware to achieve this. I have a, a 3D scanner and a 3D printer. The uh, 3D scanner that I have is this. It's called a Sense Scanner by Cubify. Uh, I shall put a link to it below. Um, at the time I got it, which was like uh, about two months ago it was the cheapest 3D scanner on the market that I could find apart from the one that you can create for free um, by manipulating the Xbox anyway uh, there's lots of 3D scanners around the corner and I don't want this to seem like an advert actually um, I think if you wait there's going to be some fairly interesting technology coming around the corner 
which is going to allow you to create 3D images from collections of 2D images. So, in fact, I think that pretty soon 3D scanners like this are going to become completely redundant. But anyway, we don't need to know about that. All I want to do is show you how to use this 3D scanner to scan this horsey here. So let's do it. Along with my Sense scanner, let's see if we can get a good look at it. Basically it has a camera and a laser beam on it. And along with this hardware came some software. And I've just booted up the software and this is the screen I've got. It's very, very easy to use. Basically I just need to select, what do you want to scan? A person or an object? An object. What size? Teapot size, guitar size, or desktop size? I think it's about, say, uh, guitar size, medium sized objects. And here we are, we're in the scanning mode. Okay, so I'm going to do some 3D scanning. I've got everything I need. I've got my horsey that I want to scan. I've got my computer. I've got my 3D scanning software, Sense by Cubify. And most importantly, I've got my 3D scanner. This is the Cubify Sense scanner. It's um, currently the cheapest scanner that you can buy, pretty much. And I'm not trying to advertise it to you. I'm sure there's going to be better and better alternatives as time goes on. I just want to show you how easy it is to scan objects and um, do 3D prints. So we've got our software running. Let's have a look at it. What do we want to do? Well, we want to scan this horse. So let's select object as opposed to person, medium object and start scan. So now all we do is we point our scanner at the screen and you see that it is basically detecting the images. Um, basically it's filling in the image and uh, if we do this all the way around the screen, let's focus in, um, then we will get a full representation of the object. Now you want to do this from 360 degrees, so one should go around the back and get the whole thing. So to do the scanning, we open the Sense program. And we want to scan this horse, which is an object of medium size. And it's pretty simple. We just point the scanner at the thing we want to scan. It's horsey. And we press start. Mm -hmm. We get a little bit of time and to get ready. And then you see the horsey start to fill in. Now um, there are some dark and some white patches. The, uh, the white patches are places where it hasn't detected anything yet. Um, now there can be two reasons for this. One is that there's nothing there to detect. And the one is that you haven't moved the scanner into the right angle to you get there. So, you want to get a three-dimensional uh, representation of this horse, so you all look at it from all angles and make sure all of the white bits on this horse are filled in. So we go around it like so. We can make sure that the different parts of the horse have been scanned. The trouble is that we're on a wire and so it is difficult to uh, get the full 360 without tripping over your own cable. Anyway, we end with the head. Let's fill that in.
and there we are. This is our completed scan. And now we can go to the next. Processing your scan. And this will take a while. And here's what we have. So you can see that we've got the horse and we've also got some extra stuff.
here is the result of our work. So we can see that this horse looks pretty similar to the uh, larger version which we scanned. It's obviously quite a lot smaller. And if you look carefully, there are some slight imperfections. Some of them are to do with the printing. Some of them are to do with the fact that I haven't cleaned up the model properly yet. And some of them are just to do with inaccuracies in the scanning process. Um, however, there is one other notable difference between this horse and this horse. So, um, I can see what the problem is more easily if we turn the horse like this. Let's focus in on its face. Maybe a bit to the side. So, if you look very carefully, you should be able to see that this horse is actually sporting glasses. So this horse, this miniature horse, actually has eye problems and needs some spectacles. And um, you can clearly see that this is not the case for its larger um, sort of clone brother here. So what we've essentially done is we've used a 3D scanner to duplicate this horse and then we've added some glasses. But of course the same approach can be used in many other ways. For example, you could 3D scan one of your friends um, and if they annoyed you say perhaps you could uh, create a, um, a, a 3D statue of them with horns or, 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 or something like that. Or, or, or angel wings if, if they're your girlfriend. Um, the possibility is really endless and um, I hope you have a lot of fun using these kind of techniques. Um, so just remember with 3D sc scanning and 3D printing, this is a new frontier. There has just got to be so many different technologies and applications lying underneath this, um, this umbrella. So. Um, I think it's our job to try and find what these are.